North American Aerospace Defense Command telling CNN the Russian bombers were flying about 200 miles off the west coast of Alaska on Friday into what is called an air defense identification zone which caught the attention of officials. Defense Command then sent two Alaska-based NORAD F-22s to intercept the Russian bombers without incident. Russian media confirmed the occurrence on Saturday, reporting that the two groups of military jets stayed about 100 yards apart and the Russian bombers never entered U.S. territory. But the reason for the bombers' close proximity to U.S. airspace wasn't made clear. The Russian bombers were escorted for about 40 minutes before the two sides went their separate ways. Few years, dating back as far as 2014, Russian bombers have repeatedly approached the UK's airspace, prompting strong condemnation from EU nations. In the Cold War, it was routine, Russian planes buzzing the airspace of NATO members in Western Europe. The report from the Henry Jackson Society, a pro-democracy think tank, details the extent to which Moscow has revived the tactic. Britain scrambled jets to intercept Russian aircraft on 21 days between 2014 and 2016. Other NATO forces in Europe seen here practicing a so-called close to 800 times in 2016. Those peaks roughly overlap with tensions or periods of increased tension. Images like this play well back home. Russia is able to portray itself theoretically as being strong and NATO members and NATO as a whole as being weak and this works very well domestically for President Putin. But the flights also allow Russia to harvest intelligence. On channels of communication between NATO member states, it's able to gain information on the abilities of the Royal Navy captains and the Royal Air Force pilots. It's able to gain information on our early warning system, for example. The cat and mouse game is not only in the skies of Europe. Russian naval activity has also increased, especially around the Scottish base of Britain's nuclear-armed submarine fleet. If Russia's submarines were able to, in a sense, record the unique acoustic signature of those submarines, then that would have a very, very detrimental effect on the UK's ability to defend itself. In turn, Russia accuses NATO of buzzing its airspace. This video taken last month appears to show a NATO typhoon jet shadowing a plane carrying Moscow's defense minister. The report calls for improved communication and clearer rules of engagement between Western European powers and Moscow to avert potentially dangerous incidents.